Syracuse takes on Duke here this evening, 7 p.m. Eastern tip-off at Cameron Indoor. The Duke Blue Devils are minus 5.5, totals 148. And if you like the Orange to win this one outright on the road here, they're plus 195 on the money line. We're 3-1 and one on our last four board member tier package picks on my website. We also won five out of our last eight board member tier package picks on that same website as well. And not only do board members get access to my exclusive board member tier package pick, but board members also get access to every single premium pick that I give out on that website through the end of February. And despite being on a three-game winning streak right now, the Syracuse Orange has failed to cover the point spread in four out of their last six. And they also find themselves really struggling on the road. Syracuse has been victorious in only two out of seven road games. And they're allowing a robust 78 points a night when they travel. They're taking on a Duke squad who's starting to heat up a little bit themselves. Winners of their last three straight. 77 points a game they're averaging at Cameron Indoor Stadium. Matthew Hurt. Matthew Hurt. He is scoring over 18 points a game along with six rebounds and 47% shooting from beyond the arc. Meanwhile, DJ Stewart scoring a dozen a game, along with four rebounds and two assists. The Blue Devils have won seven out of their last 10 head-to-head -head meetings with the Orange. And when it comes to the total in this one, Duke's 5-1 and one to the over in their last six ball games, 8-3 and three to the over on their home court. Meanwhile, Syracuse is 6-1 and one to the over in their last seven road games themselves. I'm going to lean toward the Duke Blue Devils, minus 5.5, and, and the over 148. Now, guys, our next matchup, actually not on our big screen behind me, but it is going to be Evansville versus Drake, 7 p.m. Eastern, tip-off at the Knapp Center in Des Moines. The Drake Bulldogs are minus 11.5 at home, numbers 134 flat. The Bulldogs are on a three-game winning streak, 13-1 straight up at the Knapp Center, but hold on, not so fast. Having said that, Drake's top two scorers are on the injury report. Shanquan Hemphill, he's out indefinitely with a foot problem. Roman Penn, he's questionable with a lower body injury himself. Now, Drake's also failed to cover the point spread against the teams like Loyola Chicago, Valparaiso, and Illinois State within the past month or so. Now, they're taking on an Evansville team who, despite really struggling over the past three weeks or so, they still find themselves 4-2 against the number in their last six games, throwing out one of the Illinois State contests. Jawan Newton scoring almost 13 points a game for the Purple Aces. Four rebounds, couple assists for the junior guard. Meanwhile, Shamar Gavance is scoring over a dozen a night himself, along with three boards and four assists. The junior guard has also recorded 33 total steals defensively. When it comes to the number in this one, Evansville's 5-0 to the over in their last five straight, 80% to the over in their last 10. Meanwhile, Drake's gone 9-3 to the over on their home court themselves. Uh, I really think this uh, total is uh, over-adjusted a little bit due to the uh, Drake injuries, so uh, I do like the over. I'm going to lean toward the Evansville Purple Aces, plus 11.5, and, and the over 134. Next contest. In the Big 12, I'm talking about Texas Tech versus Oklahoma State, 9 p.m. Eastern start time. Now, Texas Tech is minus 3.5 on the road, totals 138 juice to the over. And if you like the Cowboys of Oklahoma State at home here, they're plus $1.50 for some money line cash. Now, the Cowboys are 8-3 and three straight up on their home court this season. They're also in the top 30 in the nation in defensive field goal percentage. They're actually holding their opponents to just 40% shooting from the field, Cade Cunningham scoring 18 points a game along with six boards and four assists. The 6'8 guard is also making 45% of his three-pointers, and he recorded 26 steals thus far in the season. Meanwhile, Isaac Lykeekly is scoring a, a double digits a night himself, along with seven rebounds and three assists. The Cowboys are scoring nearly 78 points a night as the official home team. They're taking on a Texas Tech squad who's currently on a two-game losing streak themselves. And they also failed to cover the number in six out of their last seven. Now, the Red Raiders are also just three and six against the number in their last nine games away from home. 
And they find themselves giving up 42% uh, percent shooting from three land when they travel. Now, total-wise, two out of Texas Tech's last three ball games got over the line. 60% to the over in their last 10. Meanwhile, Oklahoma State is 8-3 to the over on their home court themselves. I'm going to lean toward the underdog Oklahoma State Cowboys plus 3.5 in the over 138. All right, next matchup. It is going to be Oregon versus USC, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. The USC Trojans are minus 4.5, totals 140 even. USC 7-1 straight up in their last eight ball games. 75% against the number during that stretch. The Trojans are in the top 10 in defensive field goal percentage. They hold their opponents to just 64 points a game. Evan Mobley scoring 17 points a night along with eight rebounds and a couple assists. The seven-foot freshman has also recorded 22 steals and a staggering 70 total blocks on the year. Now, Taj Edey's also scoring over 13 points a game himself. Two boards and a couple assists a night for the senior guard. USC is scoring over 77 points a game at the Galen Center. They're taking on an Oregon squad who failed to cover in four out of their last seven themselves. And they also find themselves allowing 70 points a game when they travel. The Ducks are also allowing their opponents to shoot 39% from beyond the arc when they travel as well. Now, total-wise, the Ducks saw five out of their last eight ball games get over the number, throwing out the Utah game. They're also 5-2 and two to the over in their seven games away from home. Meanwhile, USC saw their last three straight get over the line themselves, 70% to the over in their last 10. I'm going to lean toward the USC Trojans, minus 4.5, in the over 140. And with that, guys, we're going to dive into our next and final matchup for the show. In the Mountain West, I'm talking about New Mexico versus Air Force. A little bit of like a like a toilet bowl here tonight. Two very bad teams. 9.30 Eastern tip-off. The Air Force Falcons are minus one at home. Numbers 125 and a hook. Now, the Falcons have successfully covered the point spread in three out of their last four contests. They're also 5-2 and two straight up in their last seven hosting the Lobos. So if you're into historical trends, it certainly leans toward Air Force. A.J. Walker is scoring over 15 points a game, three rebounds, two assists for the junior guard. Walker's also recorded 35 total steals, and he makes 43% of his three-pointers. Meanwhile, Chris Joyce is averaging double digits a game himself, a couple of boards and 20 total steals for the 6-5 guard as well. They're taking on a New Mexico team who's currently on a five-game losing streak. And they score just 58 points a game as the official road team. The Lobos are also making just 21% of their three-pointers as the official road team as well. Total-wise, New Mexico is 70% to the under in their last 10 contests. 7-1 to the under as the official road team. Meanwhile, Air Force saw three out of their last five stay under the number themselves, throwing out one of the Fresno games. I'm going to lean toward the Air Force Falcons minus one. And the under 125 and a half. And with that, guys, we're going to dive into our quick pick recap powered to you by my website, where we are three and one in our last four board member tier package picks. We also won five out of our last eight board member tier package picks on my website as well. I like Duke minus five and a half over 148. Evansville plus 11 and a half over 134. Oklahoma State plus three and a half over 138. USC minus four and a half over 140. And last but certainly not least, got to lean toward the Air Force Falcons minus one and the under 125 and a half. Uh, just a quick reminder here, guys, uh, all the content on this channel is for entertainment purposes only. We don't make any guarantees of any kind. And with that, guys, we're going to dive into some shout outs to our top 10 YouTube commenters over the past couple of days or so. Shout out to the Red Knight. Damon Rhodes, Calvin Moulton, Beast Fit, LeBron Games, Last Man 223, Carl Douglas, Alan Francis Pablo, G. Wright, and last but certainly not least, got to give a shout out to an oldie but goodie. He's been with me for a very long time. I'm talking about my man, Gio Lopez. All right, guys, that's going to do it for me. Don't forget to check me out. Um, actually, uh, no, I can't say that anymore. You know, I've been doing that script for so long. Um, Thank you for joining me uh, right here on YouTube. Really hope you enjoyed all this great free content. 
all this great free information. And with that said, happy Monday to you. Best of luck to you. And have yourself a good one now.